Merry Christmas everybody, Merry Christmas. Maybe you're watching this video because you just opened your brand new PlayStation 5 on Christmas Day. If that is you, congratulations, welcome to the team. Or maybe you're watching this video because you bought it for a loved one, a relative, or a friend and now you're trying to get some insight on what games are good and what games aren't. And if that is you, came to the right place, I hope they enjoy their gift. Or maybe you're watching this video wondering, Man, I really want to know what I get because I haven't got a console yet, but I really want to get a console. And if that is you, hey, wish you the best of luck. I know you will get a console. Do not give up and trust the process. Whichever category you guys fall into, I am here to help. This is my holiday gift guide where I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, my input, my honest review, and some little bit of gameplay, spoiler-free gameplay, of course, of all of these games that I have tried, I've gone through, and tried to come up with what I feel like is the number one must-have if you only have one shot, one pick, one game to get game. So I'm going to be revealing that, so if you guys are interested in that, sit back, relax, grab that cup of eggnog, don't go anywhere. This first section of games is called the free 99s because it doesn't get any better than a free game. Why well, spend money if you don't have to? So if you're looking for a free game to play, maybe you don't want to spend a bunch of money on, you know, PlayStation 5 games, which are $70 now. You can start off with some free stuff. So leading off the free games is Fortnite Battle Royale. If you're not familiar with Fortnite, it is a battle royale game mode where you can download 100% for free. 100 players drop in, last man standing and or team standing wins. It gets a lot of flack from people because you have to build and things like that. Some people say it's for kids, but despite all of that, I personally like Fortnite. I think it's a fun game. I have a lot of fun playing it and they update it every two to three months. They send out something new, always adding new characters. You don't have to spend any money unless you want cosmetic skins and things like that. So for free, it doesn't get any better. Than Fortnite. Go, get out of here, bro. Ah, let's go. Big dubs in the chat. Come on, let's bro. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, sing that song up. This next group of games have exclusives that they have actually in store. So all of these games you can get in the store right now for free. So leading off in the store, you have Crash Bandicoot, God of War. Mortal Kombat. I mean, there's some really good things to jump in here. There's an Uncharted, Ratchet and Clank. You could come in and play all 30 of these titles and not spend a single dime. So I highly recommend that the first thing you do is check out these free games. Next up on our list is what I like to call the Old Reliables. These are games that essentially have been better or less the same the last few years. And those games are FIFA 21. Madden 21, NBA 2K, and Call of Duty. So if you're buying a game or if you're a sports fan or buying for a sports fan, you can't go wrong with any one of these titles. And I do mean cannot go wrong. FIFA, Madden, NBA 2K, you know essentially what you're going to get. It's going to be rather the same. They might have some roster updates, but there's nothing trying to reinvent the wheel here and then call of duty i mean call of duty has been call of duty there are some different things here and there but it's nothing too crazy so like i say these are the overlap boys these are a safe bet for anyone who's buying a gift you can't go wrong with either one of these this next section of games is called the block busters these are the top tier games these are the ones you may or may not have heard about these are all different releases dropped for the playstation 5 so the first one of course is cyberpunk 2077 and the thing about this game it is a hundred percent hit or miss it was recalled by sony and cd project red so that might be a turn off for you it has mixed reviews anywhere from 10 out of 10 game of the year to zero out of 10 worst game ever invented so it is all about what you're looking for i will say if you get it for the playstation 5 if there's no bugs or glitches it is a 10. if it gets those bugs and glitches it can easily be a zero so this is that 50 50 game it, it's a risk next up we have one of my personal favorites on the playstation 5 thus far had so much fun with this Watch Dogs legions essentially this game is a is a gta 
similar hacking game. If you play Watch Dogs before, the premise of Watch Dogs is going around hacking different things. Now, the reason that makes this one so much more fun, this is the third one, and they really finally got it right. The first one was boring, in my opinion. The second one was too cartoony. This is a perfect mix. Now, in this game, you have a lot of hacking. You have some stealth, some driving around, some combat, some shooting. But the most important thing or the number one selling point is that you can walk around to any character in the game, any character, hack and become that character, unlock that character, and that character will be added to your inventory with its own special abilities, own powers, and it is just a beautiful and amazing, it's fun. I've never played anything quite like this where I can just run around, become this character, and boom, I'm playing as this character, or I can run around to another character. It doesn't matter. You're running around London in a sandbox environment doing whatever it is that you want, and I love the creativity here. I highly recommend this game. To me, it is a 9 out of 10. Last but certainly not least, drum roll, please. Spider Man Miles Morales. If you can only buy one game for the PlayStation 5, I highly recommend this game. To me, this is the game to get. I have not played everything, but of all the games that I have played for the PlayStation 5, this is by far been my personal favorite i mean everything from the web slinging to the combat to the storyline the representation the different suits it is a great game all around the only downfall to me about this game is that it's not an extremely long story like some of the other ones but you'll enjoy every second of it you honestly will so i i like this game i like spider-man Miles morales and i highly recommend it 10 out of 10 for me if you only got one game Get, get this one and uh, I will say honorable mention two games that I have not yet played but I have heard great things about are Demon Souls and Assassin's Creed Valhalla so I do want to check those out and get some reviews on those to you guys and if you guys have any other games that you might be wondering about or that I might have missed leave a comment down below let me know what you thought about this tutorial if you did enjoy this video like comment subscribe and as always keep your head above water and only way for someone to bring you down they must first be below you this has been yo nut gaming everyone have a merry christmas and be blessed